Hey, I'm about to leave on a trip out of the country for a short period of time to do a surf trip. And I couldn't find my beach bag. I just came back to the shop and I found it. And I haven't opened this beach bag in a year and a half or more. <laughs> so I'm not even sure what's in it, but I know there's stuff in there I need. And we're gonna adjust some stickers on the van here before I go. And we'll talk about that in a second. Let's get on to this beach bag thing. Let us, let's see what is going on in here. Let's not lose these. I got some wax in here. This is my top. I'm not bringing this. I'm going down to uh, Central American country. You guys will see. I'll do a little video for you, at least at least one. <laughs> but I won't need this. I'm looking for a rash guard. There's a surf shop up here on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm going to go hit if I don't have one in here. Wetsuit, I won't need that. Okay. I'm going to bring, I'm thinking about bringing my fins and my hand plane, just in case. You never know. That's fun stuff right there. Got some wax. <laughs> I made a whole bunch of these boards. Uh, right Coast Surf Shop actually sold them back home in Jersey for me. And I sold a bunch through here. I've got some blanks up there. I should get back to making them. You guys might remember these. It's nice concave in here. Not all of them have these butterflies. This one was actually... All of them are one piece. This one was two pieces uh, book matched. And I added my butterfly mortises to just hold that together. And then I had a little crack here and here. So I added some tiny little butterfly mortises on here. Got the old stamp before I had the brand. And I mean, I made this quite some time ago. These things are awesome. Uh, they're big enough where you can really kind of lay your arm on there. This will stretch a bit too when it gets wet. I got to bring a leash. Maybe some wax. I don't think I'm going to need to bring my fins. Uh, but that's all I was after. Uh -huh. And maybe we'll bring some of this. That's it. That's it for the surf bag. Put this stuff away. Glad I found it. Mm. Oh, yeah. The smell of the wetsuit automatically puts your mind and body into that mood of, I'm going surfing. <laughs> and everything that that entails. This is warm water surf wax. So I'll bring that because that's where I'm going. It's going to be warm. Leave this stuff in here. All right, let's move on. Well, let's bring a leash. I think my buddy's bringing leashes, but I'm going to bring an extra just to be on the safe side. I'll bring my new one. Less chance of there being a problem with that. I don't know if I'm gonna fit these. I'm doing a carry-on bag. Actually, the bag I'm bringing uh, is pretty cool. It um, it's a bag I bought in the '90s, and I used it. I went to Greece like '98. I spent five weeks just popping around different islands, and I did the whole thing with this bag that I overpacked. I brought way too many clothes with me. And it's a really neat bag. It's 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 a North Face Belize, it's called. It's probably a rare bag. It's probably sought after these days. Heavy duty zippers, different configurations. You can carry it like a normal duffel. It's got backpack straps that stow behind a panel. It's got a front zipper pocket that pops off like a you know, like a waist bag, like a fanny pack. And if I can get this in there, I'm not bringing much. I'm bringing a couple t-shirts, swim trunks, flip-flops. I might bring a hoodie or a sweatshirt or something and a long sleeve t-shirt to sleep in at night. Uh, just for the air conditioning if they got that on. And that's it. I'm not bringing anything else. So you don't need anything else. Let's move on to these stickers. Because there's a story here. Alright, so... Somebody, one of you guys sent me these two stickers months ago. Uh, I just found them in one of my bags, and I'll probably put, throw those on. These stickers here were from that uh, meetup with, geez, I can't think of their names now, but it was an overland meetup we had down in San Diego when I was on my way to Arizona a couple months ago. 
all super cool dudes. This guy's got a low rider. He's a huge Chargers fan. And uh, this is these are the people that sent me the bolts, the greasable shackle bolts for the van, which are working out great. This couple's really cool, an incredible rig. Uh, this guy is a really nice guy, travels with his kid. And that was the food truck. This is a group of guys I used to ride with. Uh, so I'm going to probably throw that up there. Here's the swim shop. I really like these dudes. I'm going to put that on the van. They're doing amazing custom uh, 4x4 builds and kits now for your old school Chevy vans. And that's a father and two sons. And I guess this is the band uh, for one of them. So I, I'll throw that up there, show a little support. When you have tinted windows and the sun's hitting it, that just amplifies the heat. And so some of these stickers just don't last. This is from a bar in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And I really like that sticker, but it faded, now it's peeling. I may keep this on here for now. There's one on the other side, I'm definitely peeling. I'll probably peel this, because you guys know how I feel. I, I do like their uh, products for the most part, uh, but you guys know what I went through with the workmanship. Not good, not good. I'm not messing with anything here. And yeah, so I'm gonna pull that now. And I'm gonna pull this, it's a really cool sticker. That's the guy I went to that he did the, uh, the first time I decided to have the computer done to jive with the gearing and the tires, the 410 gears and the 32 inch tires. It was 250 bucks and he didn't get it right. He never got it right. I contacted him, uh, texts. Uh, I tried messaging him through Instagram, uh, obviously calling him, never got back to me. And then I ended up going with Ewalt's uh, tuning, uh, Evan Ewalt. Uh, he's the guy that I got the whole ECU from. And I've got no problems with that. He did a great job. And it was less money. And, it, uh, and he did way more things to that computer that makes the van better. So, yeah, don't go to one of those places. Just call Evan Ewalt. Ewalt's auto tuning, I believe it is. Hey, Evan, if you watch this, do you have any stickers, man? Get some stickers made. Send me a sticker, dude. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Get yourself one of these. This thing's been used. I don't know how sharp it is, but uh, should be enough to do this. Bye bye journey. By the way, that sticker right there, Surfers Alliance. I had that in a box, uh, and I've had that sticker since the 1980s. Look at that. They came off. I like these new vinyl stickers, man. They come off real easy. I have to admit, this sticker did look cool on the truck. But uh, you can't support somebody that, that just doesn't get back to you, you know? If, if, you know, you got to back up your business. You know, if, if, I, if somebody's not super happy with what I've done, I, I try to go out of my way to make them happy, one way or another. So, I don't see a lot of that these days. It's a shame, I guess. It, and, you know, I think this happens more here in Southern California and probably other metropolitan areas because there's, if you're good, people are gonna keep coming to you and there's enough other businesses. You can get it done somewhere else. I guess people just don't care. Let's move that other sticker from the other side. I think my Astro Van Tribe on this side is on a slight angle. <laughs> Clean these, this glass up a little bit with something. I, got, I must have something to shop. I probably got some alcohol or something. And then I'll apply these stickers. New stickers are on there. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what this is, but if you know, go ahead and comment. And this here was sent to me by Cliff when he was sending me all those parts for the van. Gabriel Shocks totally hooked me up. Again, these are the bolts for the shackle, the shackle bolts. This is a local guy back home in Jersey. Interesting character. This is, this is one of his stickers too. And uh, New Jersey Beach Badge Association. It's my buddy's bar, uh, Point Pleasant. Went to high school with him, real, real good dude. So uh, yeah. My buddy's bait and tackle shop, John, you're gonna have to send me another sticker. I'm gonna have to find another spot for it. <laughs>
guys I used to ride with at the beach. I just don't do it anymore. And this is a great uh, skate shop. You gotta check that place up if, out if you're up in Santa Cruz. Again, another Cretans. My buddy's woodworking, Westside Woodworks in Utah. I need another one of those. Tick. Sasquatch stuff. That's a really fun museum to check out if you're ever up there. It's my hometown right there. It's my buddy George. Got a Panua. I don't know what happened to that. It's the Marine Corps. You guys know all about that. It's my the Mike Z design. This, I don't have this. I wouldn't mind checking it out though. I've looked at them. I'm sticking with the system I have for now. So SMG Auto here in Los Angeles, really good place to go. Super honest, right coast surf shop. The old Grog Surf Palace, it's hometown in Jersey. It's my buddy Rick. You guys know Van City Van Life. Uh, actually J5 Customs uh, did his van originally and uh, he sent me this swim shop Arr. anyhow i'm gonna go buy a rash guard on hollywood boulevard which seems odd to me what's i'm gonna go see what that's all about anyhow next thing you guys see for me will probably be a nice tropical paradise and uh, i may or may not be sober and or sunburnt or injured maybe I have some more scars on my head by then We'll see, but uh, stay tuned. It'll be fun. Thanks for being here. Keep coming back and uh, be good to one another.